about a mile and a half down the unplowed Beyond Hope Lane in Appleton stands the Fowler Homestead. Living here, off the grid, was perfect preparation for the TV show alone. Zachary Fowler, called by his last name on the show, lived off the land in Patagonia for 87 days. Because on days that I didn't catch a fish, which weren't that many, I would have the fish head soup and i just boil it, mash it, boil it, and, and, and three times a day I drink that pot clean of uh, the fish head soup. He grew up in Vermont and came to Maine a decade ago to be a boat builder. He bought two and a half acres and started building a life that perfectly suits him. As bad as I am at reading, I've always been that much better at working my hands. God just kind of gave me this really awesome ability to work with my hands and to, and with my dyslexia, I think about things very different than other people, which sometimes throws me for a loop. Like I think about the most complicated way of ever doing something that's super clever. Tired of being alone, he put an ad on Craigslist, which began, Woodsy Woman Wanted. I saw Jamie and that her ad was, you know, like, oh, I might be what you're looking for. You know, I could start a fire and, uh, and cook on a wood stove. And I thought it was my buddy's messing with me because she knitted, she was beautiful. <laughs> and I was like, How? This, is, this can't be real. She was, and soon, Abby and Sparrow were too. <laughs> All right, we're home. Oh, he's the best I know. <laughs> His wizard stick tells the history of his historic win on the History Channel. It begins with a carving of the car that broke down as Jamie drove him to BIA. Jamie grabbed the baby and stuck her thumb up. Jamie told him who I was, you know, which we weren't supposed to reveal. And they were like, oh, you know, because of all the stress of everything. And they were like, oh, we'll give you a ride right to the airport. Next, <laughs> the, next thing I know, I made it to the airport and I'm at the line in, in like two seconds to spare, you know. Fowler was dropped in a remote and magnificent section of Argentina known as Patagonia. He started building his shelter and gathering food. He would catch 63 fish, almost twice as many as any of the competitors, and two birds. He could handle living off the land, but it was hard to be alone. Looking up, there wasn't even planes in the sky of, you know, no, no, like here you look up and there's almost always a contrail yeah. and, and play, people are flying to England and all these yeah. other places. You look up and there's nothing. It was so secluded. A couple of months later, as Zachary was on his way to losing 73 pounds, Jamie got an email saying they were down to just three contestants. I was just really excited that I was going to get to see him again. And then my next thought was my baby's still nursing, so I have to wean her. <laughs> so that was hard. The last competitor was taken out due to starvation. The crew pretended to give Zach a medical checkup and created a magical TV moment. It's getting harder and harder to think about him. By interviewing him as Jamie so sneaked up so behind much. to tell him he had won. You know, and as long as I have strength in me and I feel like I can push through it, I, I do. And, uh, and I don't give up because of them. Oh my God! <laughs> you won! You won! What? I won! You won! Oh my God! It's over. It's over. Zachary is doing appearances for alone. He has his own YouTube channel called. Fowler's Makery and Mischief, which is fun. On it, he presents videos on homesteading or just doing creative stuff. Where's your bedroom gonna be? It's covered in snow. And the Fowlers are going to build a new home. Wanna be nice to have your own bedroom that you share with your sister? <laughs> it is sweet that this family found prosperity because Zachary Fowler was the best of them all. We can go home. <laughs> At doing something he doesn't like to do. And that is be alone. <laughs> ah! Woo! -hoo!